Hey everybody, this is Mike doing a quick review of the Corral Classic Gi. This is the version, um, the old version, before they updated uh, the pants. And they may have changed the weave slightly, I'm not sure, or the cut. But um, this for me is the standard training Gi. Um, this is the Gi I compare all others to. And uh, they all seem like just variants of this gi. So um, I don't know the weight on this gi. You know, it's standard. It's probably like 700, 750 gram pro weave. But um, I like it. And I like it because it's, um, it's actually kind of stiff. And I like a kind of stiff gi. So I like pro weaves. And I like it because the sleeves are kind of stiff. So when you get all sweaty, um, it doesn't absorb a lot of sweat, and it doesn't get all sticky. It doesn't stick against my uh, my skin, and I can use the sleeves as you know, kind of a to wipe the sweat away from my forehead and stuff. Um, let me talk about the fit real quick and let you know why um, I kind of compare this gi to everybody else's. Um, the cut of this gi is cut for a bigger guy, bigger person. Um, there's a lot of room in the chest. Um, it's not real snug in the armpits, though it's not real baggy either. And there's a lot of room in the shoulders, which I like because I got kind of broad shoulders. Um, the taper down to the to the wrist, I think Corrals have probably the smallest, some of the smallest um, openings at the wrist, which can make doing Ezekiel chokes a hassle. Um, that's, uh, you know, if you don't do that a lot, it's really good. And I, and I never really did, but now I'm doing more. Or I'm going to start doing more. So um, uh, that's something to consider. You can still do it, but it's kind of makes it harder. Um, of course, Corral is known for the rubber lapel inside. And it's not hard. It's actually, um, it's like a, a decent medium thickness. It's just a good lapel. But uh, for some people, it can be like a little uncomfortable, like around the neck. But actually, when I compare this to the Shoyo Roll Yank, the Yank's collar actually feels a little bit stiffer right now. That's probably just because it's newer. Um, and this one's been used a lot more. But um, the the lapel is just, uh, it's a good lapel. And, you know, pearl weave. It's held up well. I didn't vinegar soak it. Um, it's held its color well, but this has been lightly used. Um, because um, I can train unfortunately that much. Um, going back to fit, um, the length is just the way it should be. I think it's probably like 30 inches from inside of the collar down to the bottom skirt. It's got all the typical reinforcements, no contrast stitching, but it's got, you know, it's uh, reinforced with um, pro weave material and it's got a reinforcement. In the armpit. No tape or anything inside, all one piece, no back seam, which is good. Um, again, it's a little bit heavier, so um, it's made for daily training. And it's good if you train this and then when you're ready to compete, put on a lighter gi, you know, and you feel like a lot quicker. Coverage, like over your belly, when you pull this over your belly, is decent and fine for me. And I have a belly, belly right now. And if you're slimmer, it'll give you a little bit, you know, more. And then, of course, as you roll, it opens up just like anything else. The skirt length is exactly where it should be. It's not too short, not too long. As opposed to, like, the Moya, which I think is, like, an inch too long. Um, it only has the taping down here and on the back. And it just has the arm, um, the shoulder patches. And the red along with the white is a nice combination. And I don't like some of the other companies, what they're doing is doing white with uh, red contrast stitching. I don't like that. So um, if you're going to do red, I like it kind of like this, just like with red patches. And um, so this is like the classic, you know, just straight white gi. It says corral. You know it's a corral. And, you know, they're known for their rubber lapel. So boom, you know, you don't need a lot of advertising. If you like the fit, you like the fit. So um, to me, like when I can, like I put on a shoyu roll, 
I compare it to this, and I notice, oh, okay, the shoulder roll has, is tighter in the armpits. The shoulder roll has less room in the shoulders the way it's cut. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just cut differently. There's less room. It, it hugs your shoulders a lot more than this one. So, like, this gi moves a little bit more. It's a little bit looser. Um, and um, I like that. But there's times when you want the, the, you know, your gi to be just, like, right on your skin and uh, hard to grab and stuff. So, you know, sure rolls like that. Um, the bull terriers are even more like that, I think. And they're cut for a really slimmer person. And Infinity Kimonos, I think, and a new, new company from the Midwest are kind of cut like that too. But, um, again, it just has the two little logos, which I think are perfect. And nothing on the back. So this is the standard for me. I still love this uh, one. I really can't give it up, even though I'm moving to lighter geese. I, I just can't give up the, my white corrals. They just fit too well. You know, even if I'm super super fat which I am <laughs> they're always gonna fit uh, the pants uh, on the other hand I have a little problem with um, first what I like the seam taping that's all they have it just has seam tape and it just has the logo also let me turn it around The knee, the knee pad area is long, and that's a plus. And all gi pants should be like that, in my opinion. Or don't have it at all, because um, like for me, I wear knee pads, knee braces. Actually, this can, can kind of get in the way, so I don't need that. Crotch, no pro weave insert or anything like that. I like the pro weave inserts. Um, and this used to have the cotton drawstring. I changed it out to a bungee, which helped a little. And the problem with these the cotton pants is the same problem with the Moya pants and the other cotton pants. They're hard to cinch up around your waist, which means when you roll, they start to creep down your butt. And uh, if you ever seen some footage of people, you know, it's like their ass hanging out when they're competing and stuff. Uh, Gee pants have a tendency to do that. So I'm moving towards, um, which I've already done, is going to replace these with ripstop, just plain white ripstop pants from, uh, I'm not affiliated with the company, but I just found them. It's uh, justgeepants.com or .net. It's Brandon Mullen's company, and they just offer white geep pants in ripstop or cotton. So I ordered a pair of ripstop, and I'm going to wear them with the, the top. And I'm just I'm not going to wear these. And when I go to Hawaii, um, these are going to be kind of thick. So the, so the top is already a thick top. Um, so I'm going to try it out with the ripstop pants. And uh, so far I've liked the ripstop. But then again, I haven't really had a lot of people yanking at them and trying to pass my guard and stuff. So we'll see how they hold up. You know, I think they'll be okay. Um, of course, the new design has corral, like in some computer type lettering like the font is just terrible and the big advertisement on the side just doesn't look good i think it shows you know corral kind of freaking out saying um you know hey we're corral you know buy us and we don't need that so um for all you gee companies out there starting up you don't need a lot of patches um you know like scramble ichiban overboard breakpoint overboard origin just overboard a little bit. Um, just make a good gi. Put a few logos on there saying, hey, it's our gi. Um, you know, Show Your Roll is probably the best at that. They have a couple logos here and there. They don't have anything really on their pants. But you know it's a Show Your Roll. So and if you like it, you're going to go out and buy it and find it. So you don't need to advertise it all over the place. And um, I wish they would still keep making the Corral Classic this way for people. And not the new one, but um, that's just my opinion. So that's my two cents. Great gi. I compare everything to this gi. So take care. Later.